Adrienne. I'm part of Bath XR um, and uh, we've come up obviously to Glasgow for COP26 to make sure that the politicians, the politicians know that we are watching them. Today is all about greenwashing. For example, Boris Johnson, our Prime Minister, seems to think uh, carbon zero is going to, sorry, is going to be, um, is excluding imports, excludes so many things, it's just greenwashing. We're not going carbon neutral. Um, and that's what this is all about. We're, the, the companies, Shell, BP, they want to blame the public. They want to carry on as business as usual, but we want them to take responsibility and do what they need to do. Stop extracting oil, coal, leave it in the ground. Yeah, what is our role in that? What is the citizen's role in that? The citizen's role is to keep protesting which is why it's so awful that they stopped our protest just now and has virtually kettled us somewhere else. I can't understand what's going on in this country. We are allowed to protest. I don't understand what's going on. It's outrageous. Can you explain us briefly what happened now there? Okay, so the march started. We walked probably about a hundred yards. I was at the back, so I didn't really know what was going on. XR marches do stop for a fair amount of time, a bit of drumming. So I wasn't, I wasn't until probably about 20 minutes that I realized they'd actually stopped us from marching. So we turned round and came back, and now we're in a square, but we're not marching anywhere. And lastly, is there anything else you would like to tell the people? Join XR! It's, we've got to hold these politicians to account. And they're not listening to us, they're in the corporate pockets. We have to stand up to them, we have to join forces. So if we could get, if we could get a 